Hi there, my name is John Maybe. Welcome to Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're going to talk about infectious endocarditis. Specifically, we're going to address the antibiotic guidelines as published in the 2017 update put out by the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology. So what are we going to take a look at? We're going to address who gets antibiotics and when. So the who basically are patients that are at high risk. Who are these high-risk individuals? Folks with prosthetic heart valves, patients with a prior history of infectious endocarditis, patients with unrepaired cyanotic congenital heart disease, or patients with completely repaired congenital heart disease with prosthetic material or devices, we cover them for the first six months after surgery. Also, patients who have had congenital heart disease repaired with prosthetic material and have residual shunts or valvular regurgitation either at or near the site of their patch or device. Lastly, patients with heart transplants with valvular disease are also covered with antibiotics. What is specifically administered? We give these folks amoxicillin, and that's administered as a single two-gram dose given 60 minutes prior to the procedure. Patients that are allergic to penicillin, they can get cephalexin, clindamycin, azithromycin, or clarithromycin. Okay, when do these patients get antibiotic prophylaxis? Well, dental procedures, specifically those that involve manipulation of gingival tissue, periapical region of the teeth, or any perforation of the oral mucosa. In addition, patients that are going to have some invasive respiratory tract procedure that involves incision or biopsy, as an example, tonsillectomy. Additionally, patients with surgical procedures involving infected skin or musculoskeletal tissue, here, those folks, you want to cover them with some type of anti-staph antibiotic coverage. Lastly, antibiotics are no longer indicated for patients with gastrointestinal or GU procedures or in patients with orthopedic hardware undergoing some type of dental procedure. That wraps it up for this HIPPO short. For more information, come on down to hippoeducation.com and we'll see you next time.